It's the 4th of July, the day America celebrates its independence from Britain. And usually there's always an American flag, a bald eagle, baseball hot dog. You get the idea. There are icons of this holiday that include birds, namely our national symbol, the bald eagle. You saw the Star Spangled Banner in the background. Well, well, that story is where we're going to start this video about 4th of July birds. Back at Fort McHenry during the War of 1812, Francis Scott Key was being held kind of prisoner on a Britain Navy ship watching Baltimore get shelled at Fort McHenry. That was called the Battle of Baltimore. He woke up in the morning, saw the American flag being raised, and wrote from aboard that ship in the Chesapeake Bay, our Star Spangled Banner. Well, the Star Spangled Banner wasn't the only thing flying over Fort McHenry that day. The Chesapeake Bay is a wonderful habitat for many bird species. I've birded there. I've seen the birds on the Chesapeake Bay, as well as the common land birds in the fort itself. The Battle of Baltimore took place about the middle of September, 1814. And we've got some bird data from eBird about what birds may be common at Fort McHenry in September. Here's a short list. Ring-billed gull, black-backed gull, rock pigeon, morning dove, Caspian tern, least tern, Forster's tern, double-crested cormorant, great blue heron, osprey. You get the idea. Those birds were part of the Battle of Baltimore too. Although the bald eagle wasn't mentioned during the writing of the Star Spangled Banner history, it is our national symbol. And that happened when the Continental Congress approved the seal of the United States, including the eagle. That was June 20th, 17. 1882, just a few years after we'd established our independence in 1776. That's what we're celebrating on the 4th of July. It actually happened on July the 2nd. While I'm talking about these birds that were prominent in American history, let's not forget the turkey. The bald eagle. In 1940, we established the Bald Eagle Protection Act. Unfortunately, we nearly lost the bald eagle to extinction by the 70s. So in 1973, we enacted the endangered species list. By 1994, the bald eagle had been downgraded to a threatened species. And finally, and thankfully in 2007, the bald eagle was delisted and no longer considered an endangered species. The 4th of July isn't the only holiday that features birds. Bird Day was established in the United States on May the 4th, 1894 to advance bird conservation as a moral value. National Bird Day in the United States occurs on January 5th. It endeavors to encourage the support of wild bird habitat, amongst other things. Let's not forget the International Migratory Bird Day, started by the Smithsonian Migratory Bird Center. Also, World Migration Bird Day, started by the United Nations in 2006 also celebrated the second weekend in May. And we celebrate that to raise awareness to global migratory linkages. Celebrations that highlight and feature birds like these and this YouTube channel hope to reach millions of people with the idea you can learn new information about birds and their habitats and enjoy that information as a quality of life enhancement. Treat yourself, learn something about birds, Birds are everywhere, and knowing more about them is a comforting connection to wherever I go. As a matter of fact, now I kind of follow the birds. I go where I know I can find birds, some new birds I've never seen before. Some are like old friends, but learning the names of birds have really increased my relationship and connection with them. I think it'll do the same for you. Check out some more videos on this channel about how you can start learning to identify birds and travel along with us. We're gonna be dropping videos on this channel from time to time, blogging our bird travel. If there are bird holidays that I've left off this list, leave me a comment below. I'd like to know about them and I hope you'll study the ones I've mentioned. In the meantime, why don't you enjoy these clips of some of the birds we've seen while we've been out and about and some cool music. I'll see you on the next one. If you like this video, be sure and hit the thumbs up. And if this is the type of channel that you'd like to stay in touch with, why don't you hit that subscribe button? It really helps promote the channel and it's much appreciated. We've got lots of stuff in the pipeline, lots of trips on the calendar. I can't wait to share them with you. I hope you'll stick around. National Sparrow Day? Why did the flag at Fort McHenry have 15 stripes? Mm -hmm.